Red, are you there? I'm here, Gary. And Pamela, I, I also want to talk to you, okay? Okay. So the reason I, I, I want to talk to you guys first before we do our exercise is we actually used this exercise for you and Brad's hip a few weeks ago, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. And in the process, and, and, and what we did, just so people will know, is we were working with Brad's hip, bone on bone. It's been a problem for you for some time. Mm-hmm. I'm paraphrasing here, but but um, you would get um, some relief, some good relief, actually, by EFT tapping, but only to a certain level. I got that right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then you would use unseen therapies and get a little better, but it tended to be temporary. I've got that right? Yes. And then what I had as an experiment, Pamela do, with my guidance, the three of us were working together. I had her mm-hmm. become the unseen therapist in your behalf surrogately. And the two of us then worked for your hip. And you had, at least for a week, uh, uh, nearly complete relief. Do I remember that right? Uh, yes. Yes. So um, the way we tested my hip was when I when I did leg raises, um, the pain would go up to probably a two or three on a scale of zero to ten. So we used that as our our litmus here. And I got on the floor and I raised my, I did, I think six leg raises and sure enough, the pain was at a two, which typically it it would be. Um, I would, uh, in the past, I would get up and and do uh, unseen therapists and and then go back on, on the floor and do the leg raises to see what the difference would be. And I would get some relief as Gary mentioned. Uh, However, the relief went probably down maybe to a one, but also by lifting the leg, it would be like a rusty door. There was a lot of resistance and um, it wasn't fluid. So you want me to tell the rest of it, Gary? You want to go? That's fine, sure. Oh, and by the way, by the way, you also said you wanted to give gratitude to people for one of the previous webinars. You can do that too, okay? I I will (laughs) be happy to do that. Uh, so, uh, Gary and Pamela did, uh, the optimal, uh, the optimal, the, um, unseen therapist surrogately as I sat and just received. And after the session, I got on the floor to test how things went and lo and behold, no pain, just as fluid as could be, which I had not experienced in the past at all. Um, That lasted probably a week, and then it kind of came back, the pain came back. However, the newest update is I've done done the session, we put it on Zoom, so I've done the session, I don't know, maybe three more times since then. Interject, when you say put it on Zoom, you and I, re- we recorded that session is what you mean. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Right. All right. Go ahead. So I have the recording and I, and so I, I did the recording again, three, four, three or four times, I guess, yeah. since then. And the leg raises now are pretty permanently at a half, whether I do them or not. Um, and I just did that before this to just, Test it again, and it's still at a half. But it's the fluidity, and it's the fluidity that really is is the shift as well. And you can do more. And I can do more. More leg raises than you could before. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that's that's good. That's good feedback because the last. I mean, I got an email from you, maybe a week or so after we did all of that. Yes. Um, and. Um, you were saying, it, my perception was, oh, well, it, it's come back again. Now, that doesn't necessarily surprise me because we weren't, we weren't really aiming as best we could at cause because we have not yet been able to identify anything specific about cause. So right. 
we aimed at the symptom itself, the hip, okay, no bone, no cartilage, that kind of stuff, okay? Um, and we did sort of a generalized thing on what, quote, whatever emotional issues may be in the way. <laughs> we, we did something like that, okay? Right, yes. So it doesn't surprise me that it would show up. Now, you've done this recording again and again. And by the way, we're recording what we're going to be doing here soon with everybody so they can replay that recording for themselves and so on. But am I now understanding that as a result of going back to those recordings, your hip resolution is, this is going to be my term now, like 90 or 95 percent? <clears throat> no, I wouldn't say that because uh, we're using the leg raise as kind of the test, but there are other tests that we could use. So, for example, um, working outdoors, you know, during the day for for six hours, it it, it acts up and 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 some pain comes back. Uh, walking any length of time, the half mile that we talked about seems to work out fine. Um, I haven't tried longer than that. Uh, as of yet. So I wouldn't say it's 95%, but I would say that, uh, and just so everyone knows, diagnosis is severe loss of cartilage in the right hip, bone on bone with calcium deposits. So most people would be in lots and lots of pain. And at one time I was, and just through EFT, and now the unseen therapist, um, some change in diet I think has contributed as well without without the gluten my quality of life is really so much different well good thank you and you wanted to give a little gratitude because i'm going to ask pamela something first i do yes so i did ask gary if i could uh thank thank the, the community here a couple of weeks ago i had brought up the issue with my hip and i just wanted to thank everyone who spoke on my behalf, both as a group, but also privately and gave me some suggestions. Um, I was really taken back on, on the support that this group provided me. Um, and it really was extremely helpful. Um, so I wanted to thank everyone for, for that. <laughs> well, that's, that's called love and we're, we're, we're sort of into that here. But. Kind of, yes. Well, <laughs> thank you, everyone. All right. Now, let me shift for a moment because I want to ask Pamela something about that experiment we did with your hip some weeks ago. As we were doing that, Pamela, and I'm going to have to lean on your memory because it's going to be better than mine here. You were to become the unseen therapist. Now, that's different than we usually do. We usually bring her in or we try to bring her up from inside or something like that. Here we are becoming uh, the unseen therapist. And so I didn't really think that through very well, but one of the things you did with great feedback is as we were progressing through this, you says, wait a minute, <laughs> you were having problems becoming the unseen therapist. Talk about that a minute, would you please? Sure, it was... Um... There was resistance there for me being the unseen therapist. It was like, wait a minute, who am I to be able to be this unseen therapist? And um, it was really interesting. I mean, we did tap on that. We did that ball where we, it shrunk and not tap on it, but we did a, a, a session of, of, on it. And the ball just shrunk and changed color and just dissipated. And for me, that was, um, I felt it in my chest. I felt the tightening and it was like, I can't do this. That's not who I am. I mean, I'm, I'm nobody, <laughs> so to speak. You know? <laughs> do we have another issue? <laughs> I mean, <go> ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that was my thought. I was like, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, and then after that, it was relaxing into it. Um, it was, it, it was really cool. It was neat to be able to feel that energy coming up. 
And I have to say that I have thought, I have used that when I've been working with um, a client where I am the sur I do unseen therapist with her surrogately. And it's um, I just, it's, it's a very interesting because it's a very humbling situation, feeling of sending that love, sending that, that energy. Um, yeah. So, well, okay. Thank you. But let me, let me get behind that a little bit. You said a humbling feeling. Now, yes. I, I want to ask about the word for it because it has different definitions to it. Humbling mm -hmm. can mean Oh, I'm inferior to. Oh, I'm looking up at da 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 da. Or it could it could be more, it could be more like, wow, do I really have all this power? Yeah, it's that. It's oh. it's more that, and it's not though a, a thought of oh, I have all this power with an ego. It's like wow, we, and it's not just me. It's we all have this power.